so in the previous audio vid, I talked about why I defend and support what would have been the pairing of Dale and Gadget, in my opinion, from Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. And I want to do the same here because I know a lot of people feel that when I talk about, you know, this pairing, they kind of feel like I'm not kind of seeing it, you know, for what it is. You know, I'm not seeing it for the sibling dynamic that, you know, it has. And look, I'm not saying that it doesn't have a sibling dynamic. It's just that when you look at Cubby and Sonny from Disney's Adventures of the Gummy Bears, they're in a unique scenario. They are in a unique uh, position category, if you will, that you rarely see in any kind of um, franchise, live action or animated. And that is the fact that they're not really siblings. They're not flesh and blood siblings. They are separate. They are, you know, not related, but they do, but they are growing up together and their age difference, if you really want to look at it, to me, is not that far apart. It might be, you know, a year or two apart and everything. And the only reason, you know, the only reason, you know, they're named the way they are is because Sunny is, well, she's yellow and she has a Sunny uh, personality, very bright and colorful, colorful and positive and all that. But you look at Cubby and you're like, well, he's a baby bear, right? Not precisely. He's just named that way because of, you know, his size and the fact that, you know, if you want to look at it from a continuity standpoint, he hasn't hit that growth spurt yet, but when he does, whew, look out, kind of do, if you know what I mean. You know, look out, out, if you will. But... Yeah, those are the only differences. The fact that they're just named after maybe what they represent or, or basically how they are. So, you know, you look at all the other names of the, of the gummies in the show and you kind of get, get the idea of why they're named that way. But anyway, what I'm getting at, though, is despite that, they're not that far off. Let's just put it that way, in my opinion. And again, they're in a situation, they're in a category to where they could, once they're older, you know, end up together, and it would work. And there's a lot of fans, believe it or not, that do agree with this. There are. Because, again, the age may not be that far apart, you know, you know, for them. It may not be far apart for them. And, you know, if Disney one day decided to go the DuckTales route and decide, and decide hey, let's continue Gummy Bears, but have it take place in the same continuity, but years later, there's a good chance it will work because you can age up the characters. Cubby could still be Cubby, but he'll be now tar, tall and statuous, and Sonny could grow a little bit more, kind of very similar to what we saw in the episode Rocking Chair Bear, but, you know, maybe more, um, I guess you could say, I guess you could say curvaceous is a word, a little bit more curvaceous, whatever. And you could just go from there and what you could do is you could, throughout the throughout the show, you know, kind of tease the idea that this friendship of growing up together is starting to blossom into something more. Now you might say, well, wasn't he teasing Sunny being with you know the buddy, uh, the buddy Barbic gummy, if you will? You know, yeah, yeah, they did tease that a little bit, but the truth is, nothing really came of it. Now, you could do something in the story, you know, to show that, yeah, it is a continuation of the original. And now there's a bit of a love triangle, you know, Sonny, Buddy, and Cubby. You could do that, and it might work. You know, it might work, and you could definitely be like, okay, this is going to be interesting because now you're going to figure out, now you're going to ask yourself, who does Sonny go with, right? And more than likely, she would go with Cubby. I know some would say it would be Buddy, but I think it's going to be Cubby. But overall, what I'm getting at, overall, what I'm getting at, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that, you know, th th these characters are in a situ these characters in the original show are in a situation that makes a lot of sense, you know, for when they get older. I mean, how many shows, and there are some shows and movies, shows and movies where characters 
have been you know portrayed in that manner. As a matter of fact, I'll give you an example of one that I know of, of one that I know of, okay? Bambi 2, all right? Bambi and Bambi 2. Bambi, when he's a young, you know, not a, a full-grown deer yet, but he's kind of like a young adolescent, he meets Faline, and she kind of flirts with him, kind of teases him a little bit, you know, and they become friends. They become close friends. But then we get the midquill, the midquill, if you will, Bambi 2, and we pretty much get the idea of, oh, yeah, these two are going to end up together, especially with the way they kind of interact. The point I'm getting at is Bambi and Feline, their characters were friends, good friends, if you, if you count the midquill as part of the continuation of the original film. They were good friends when they were kids and everything, and then they grew up, and, well, they became something more. You know, they became something more and everything. The point I'm getting at by using that as an example is the fact that you could get that here. You could get that here with Cubby and Sonny. You could. Because, again, they, they were put in a situation to where you age them, you know, to where if you continue the show, keep it in the same continuity, you know, you can age them up and, well, just go from there. And it, and it works. And I think it works. It really does. And there's a lot of moments, as, you know, as brief as they might be, a lot of moments to where it's like, yeah, these two definitely are being targeted to be something more. I mean, the way they hugged at, you know, towards the end of a gummy in a gilded cage, the way they're always kind of like helping each other out, you know, coming, you know, kind of like, I wouldn't say, well, yeah, I would say supporting each other, being around each other, you know, it's like, it's like Disney was giving off the vibe, you know, that, you know, these two would end up together if, once they get older. They were giving off that vibe. And... You know, and there's no denying that. There's no denying that whatsoever that they were given off that vibe that once these two are older, they're going to probably end up together. You know, because they were, cause they're always around each other. They're always protective of each other. You know, and you can say, well, that's that kind of sibling dynamic we, you, you know, that we're talking about. Yeah, and that might be true. It is, you know, it is kind of that sibling dynamic. But the thing is... We've seen it before. I mean, one show I'm a fan of, I think we're all a fan of, is Gargoyles. You remember that young Tom character? You know, him and the princess bonded, you know, as friends, as best friends. It's kind of like a sibling bondship, if you will. A sibling bondship. And it grew even more when she made him the guardian of, the kind of like a guardian, a knight, for, you know, a protector of the eggs and everything. But when they reached Avalon, what happened? Time moved extremely slow. For every second, if not minute, on Avalon, a day, if not a year, goes by in the real world. And what does that do? That slows down the princess's, you know, aging, and it kind of slows down Tom's aging, but kind of helps it also progress progress and, you know, to the point that he could end up being with the princess, you know, a lot, you know, probably a lot more convincingly than when he was younger. I mean, let's be honest, a Cubby and Sonny together situation being, you know, because they're in a, you know, category of being aged up if the opportunity ever presents itself, let's be honest, that'd make a lot more sense then Anakin going from a young boy in Phantom Menace, you know, crushing on, what is her name, Padawan or something like that, or pa Padalin, Padalin, I can't pronounce the name, to growing up to full 20-year-old Hayden Christensen in the second movie, and they ended up together. It's like, what sense does that make? That's like literally jumping the shark. You know, it makes no sense. And that's one of the reasons... That movie probably, you know, bombed at the box office because they're like, what sense does this make? If this is the same mannequin from the first movie, how the heck did, you know, how is he falling in love with her? What's going on here? You know? 
So the point is, you can justify that this would make more sense. And you can base it off their history with each other. You can base it off the fact that they, yes, grew up together, but they were always there for each other. And we've, again, like I said, we've seen this. As I mentioned, Bambi and the midquill Bambi 2 are good examples, are very good examples. And again, this is also something that when you get down to it, it's Disney. Disney is known to go down these kind of routes. Whether it's one of the feature films or one of the movies. They're known to go down this route. And depending on the team and depending basically on the team behind it, it's a route that proves very, very successful. There is no doubt about that. No doubt. I mean, heck, let's take a look at the ending of The Princess and the Frog. What did they tease there, for goodness sakes? You know, with Tanyana's best friend and and uh, what's his name's, you know, her love interest, the, the prince, the prince's younger brother. I mean, come on. I know that was made for a joke and everything, but come. But did they really have to seriously put that in there? No. No, they didn't. <laughs> And you know what's even crazier is we've always seen these kind of scenarios to where I can't remember what it was. You know, I can't remember what it was, but it was an animated show. And you had one girl basically tell the guy because they had to separate, you know, because the little guy was younger, just a little bit and everything. You know, they, they, they basically alluded to the fact that Hey, if he gets older and she's, you know, and she's still single, it's like, hey, you better hurry your butt back down there, <laughs> you know, and you know they left it at that. There was several case, there were several examples of that, Mo more than I can name, you know, more than I can name in everything. The point I'm getting at is, you know, Cubby and Sunny, you know, their relationship, I think, can work. Because of everything that was, you know, put in, because of every moment, you know, that they had together as young cubs, as young gummies in the original show. And you know what's crazy about the DuckTales 2017 show? You know, the gummy bears are looked at as mythical guardians of something, right? Of the gummy bear juice. And to me... That opens the door if they want, if Disney wanted to, to do a continuation of the Gummy Bears, because that could be the continuation of the original show. I mean, them being referenced as guardians, mysterious guardians, and everything, you know, them being referenced as mysterious guardians, to me, that kind of says that what the 2017 DuckTales show was doing was continuing the original Gummy Bears show, and they could have continued. And if they wanted to, they could have spun off and done a, a continuation with an older version of the cast. Not saying they would have, but again, the door was open, you know, it was open for, for business to be, you know, uh, continued, if you know what I mean. To be continued, if you know what I mean. You know, what I'm getting at, what I'm getting at, ladies and gentlemen, I know I say that a lot, but what I'm getting at is... Long story short, you cannot say that this wouldn't work because of the sibling dynamic. Because one, again, like I said at the beginning, they're not siblings. They're not blood related. They just grew up together. You know, they just grew up together and that's it. Excuse me. And like I said, we've seen these kind of things play out before. We have. You know, no matter what the show, live action or animated, we've seen it play out before. We've seen it. And what happens in the end? It's pretty much hinted at that they're going to end up together. I go back to something I used as an example when I was talking about Dale and Gadget, and that is X-Men Evolution. Even though pretty much anybody that's anyone knows about the relationship between, you know, Scott Summers and Jean Grey, you know, being a thing, in X-Men Evolution, for anybody that's new, or anybody that was new to it, I should say, Seeing those two kind of cheesy on and off situation and kind of growing up together through high school and being there for each other, you know, you kind of were wondering, would they, won't they? And in the end, you pretty much knew they would. 
but you know, you were given those kind of questions like, will it happen? Will it, ha- will it not happen? What's going on? Da, da, da. And, but you knew inevitably it was going to happen. And as crazy as an example as that is, that's kind of the scenario here with uh, Cubby and Sonny. It's like you look at them and you're thinking, well, they feel more like siblings, but they're not related. So could it be possible that they end up together once they get older? You never know. You never know. I mean, we know that they tease the fact that Sonny had a crush on Gusto and, and all that. I understand that. And maybe if they would have aged Gusto up by maybe a few years more than both her and Cubby and even Tummy, which I think they wanted to you know allude to, but they didn't really do it, then I think it would have been I think it would have been perfect. I think yeah, it'd be more that would be believable. But again, the way things just played out in the series, the way things were presented, it's like, yeah, they were telling you that once these two get older, they're going to end up together. They are, you know, they're going to end up together. I mean, again, how many scenarios count? Count on your one hand. How many scenarios were they in? that basically they were helping each other, they were having fun with each other and all that. Count. How many times? How many times? On one hand. Answer, you can't count as many. how many times on one hand because it was too many. Too many. So what I'm getting at, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason I defend this is because of everything I just said and mostly because they're in that unique category, that unique situation of, yeah, if Disney wanted to continue the show, you know, and you know, can you know, continue the original continuity of the show, and you know, and do it by a few years, they can age up these characters, you know, very, you know, very much. They can age these characters up in a big, big way. A good example from a Disney perspective is Max, Max from Goof Troop. Basically, Max from Goof Troop began was 11, 12 years old. Fast forward to nineteen ninety five we get a goofy movie, right? We get a goofy movie. And this is this and we are basically told that this is the same Max from Goof Troop. And now he's 15, 16 years old. And then you fast forward another five years and you're basically given a Max that's in his twenties. You know, well, I guess his twenties, 19, 20 years old, if you are so you're given that Max. And you're led to believe that's the same Max as a goofy movie that's from a goofy movie. And from Goof Troop. You see, you, see, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? If we're basically expected to believe that the Max from Goof Troop is the same Max from Goofy Movie and, Go- and Extremely Goofy Movie, then how hard is it for us not to believe that the Cubby and Sunny that get aged up in a possible continuation of Gummy Bears, if that was to ever happen, is not the same Cubby and Sunny, you know, from the original show, and that this aged up version of Cubby and Sunny not don't end up together because knowing Disney, that's always the direction they go in. You know, in this kind of scenario. You know, who's to say that wouldn't be who who said who's to say that wouldn't work or wouldn't be the case? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But in in, in conclusion, guys, I just wanted to come on here and let you know why I defended and why I feel that the category that that they were placed in, in the original show, you know, gives me, you know, justification, gives me pause to want to say yes. You know, know, this is basically, this was done to basically open-end the possibility, you know, if not the justification of them getting together once they're older. But let me know what your thoughts are. I mean, I know some of you will have your difference of opinions. That's fine. Some of you might say otherwise. Some of you might agree with what I'm pointing out. But let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear from each and every one of you on this. And until next time, I will talk to you all later.